Hello everyone, my name is Carol and welcome aboard to Knitting on the Hook. In this tutorial, we're going to have a closer look at the sinker plate as well as the carriage. So let's get to it. This is the holding cam lever. Set in end position is for stocking that stitch and in H position will prevent the carriage from knitting the needles that have been selected into E position. Next to it, we have the cam button release lever, and down here, we have the cam buttons. Tuck stitch, fair aisle patterns, as well as thread lace pattern, and skip stitch pattern. Over here, we have the change knob. It has four position. N is for stocking at stitch and lace pattern. KC is for stitch design that requires needle selection. SM is used hand in hand with your punch cards to create single motifs and CR is used to release the carriage from the needle bed. In the center we have the tension dial which dictates the size of the stitches according to the thickness of the yarn that is used. The lower the number the tighter the stitches. The higher the number the looser the stitches. It also has two increments between each numbers for fine-tuning the stitches. So as the carriage sits right now in end position on both sides, we'd be ready to knit and stock in that stitch. On the sinker plate, you will find the yarn feeder. A is used for your main yarn and B is used for fair isle pattern. On each side, you will find some openings, which will accommodate your wheel brushes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, click on the thumbs up to let me know. And if you would like to help me grow my channel and see more of these tutorials, click on the subscribe button. Well, thank you for watching Knitting on the Hook. Bye for now.